Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look here. And I am going to be using all drugstore slash affordable products in this tutorial. I really wanted to showcase what the drugstore has to offer these days because they've really stepped up their game and they have some amazing products for half or a third or a tenth of the price of um, Sephora high-end brands. So I really wanted to just kind of show everyone what there is to offer at the drugstore these days because I know when I go to the drugstore, I'm really surprised at what they have. Some are oldie, oldie but goodie products like Physician's Formula. I've loved them since I was in high school. Um, and some are newer, not necessarily brands, but brands have really upped their game. Like e.l.f. It has amazing products these days so I just kind of wanted to showcase that some of the products are going to be affordable products as I said you're gonna see ColourPop which are eyeshadows are six dollars a piece online and you'll also see Makeup Geek eyeshadows which I believe are six dollars a piece online as well really good quality eyeshadows for very affordable prices but you can't physically go to the drugstore and get them and then um, I'm going to show you two different lip options. This lip option is a Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick, so it's not a drugstore or affordable um, product, but it's in the shade Doll Parts, and I just got it in the mail, so I really wanted to use it. But I am gonna show you at the end of the video another lip option in the brand Milani with the lipstick and lip gloss that I really think went so well with this look. So. Without further ado, let's get into it. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and please like, subscribe, and share and leave me a comment below to let me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. So I am going to take a piece of scotch tape, put it on the back of my hand two times so it's not so sticky and then I am going to put it at an angle on the outer corner of my eye. This is gonna help with placement of the shadows and it really helps with the downward turned eyes if you happen to have those to make them appear like they're not downward turned. So we're gonna go in with the color by Makeup Geek called Vanilla Bean and I'm just gonna put that all over the primer we used. I did that off camera as I did in my other eye so that this video wouldn't be for ever long even though it is still 18 minutes long I think so that's just gonna serve as a base color for all the other shadows we're going to go in with just put it all the way from the arch of your brow down to the lower of your lid and then we're gonna go in with my favorite transition color by makeup geek called peach smoothie I'm taking a large fluffy blending brush and I'm putting that all over the crease it can go up a little higher than the crease this is going to just make all of the colors kind of blend very well together so going back and forth in windshield wiper and hula hoop motions we're gonna get that peach smoothie all over the crease and the upper crease then I'm going in with my next favorite transition color called creme brulee by makeup geek all of these shadows are six dollars by the way so they are not found at the drugstore, but they can be purchased online on the Makeup Geek website. And again, doing the exact same thing as I did with Peach Smoothie, going back and forth in windshield wiper and hula hoop motions with a fluffy blending brush. Now I'm going in with the shade Cupcake by Makeup Geek. This is a pale pink, and I'm just using this to go over top of my lid. This is really just gonna serve as a base for what we're going to do later on on the lid. And it's really not necessary, but I find it helps for layering for, um, it helps for blendability when you layer. So now we're going in with the darkest color of the bunch. Oh, that pimple. God, I, it's driving me nuts. So this color is vintage again by makeup geek. This is a really nice lav dark lavender purplish color. And I'm going in with a tapered blending brush and I'm just putting the color right on the point of the brush this helps the color go right into the crease and not higher than the crease you don't want it going up above the crease dark colors can make you look like you have a black eye especially with a purple or a blue hue so we are doing that in the crease and then on the outer V of the eye so I'm going all the way to the tape on the outer V of the eye and I'm blending it into the crease now I'm using a 
smaller but denser blending brush and I'm just blending out that vintage color. I'm bringing it down on the lid because the lid's going to get covered with another color so that doesn't matter, but not bringing it upwards, just crease or lower. And we're gonna do a lot of blending back and forth. That is the key to getting a really nice smoky eye. So now I'm going back in with Peach Smoothie and just buffing everything out. And I'm going to do this a couple of times, so I'm gonna speed through it. So again, Peach Smoothie, Creme Brulee, with a large fluffy blending brush back and forth again. And then we're gonna go in again with Vintage to make it darker because when you blend it out, it does take some of that intensity away. So take that tapered blending brush and do the same exercise again, making that color vibrant. Take your time with this, as much time as you need. This is definitely for maybe a weekend when you have time to experiment, but it's so fun. So now I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the color Amber Rush. This is $7.99 and you can find it at Ulta, Target, Walmart. And I'm going in with a flat synthetic brush. Definitely use a synthetic brush with this. So I dampened it with some Mac Fix Plus. I know that Mac Fix Plus is not drugstore, but I do like to damp my brush. You can use eye drops. It does the same thing. It has glycerin in it, and that's really the whole point of using the Fix Plus to get that eyeshadow very vibrant and to stay in place. So I'm just kind of going back and forth and taking that color all the way up to the crease, but not any higher than the crease. Now I am going in with ColourPop in the shade Alchemy. This is definitely not necessary. I just wanted a little bit more of a sparkly pop to the eye. So I'm putting that on my finger and I'm just dabbing it over the Amber Rush. I love the way it turned out. But again, that Amber Rush is so beautiful on its own that you absolutely don't need to do this. The ColourPop shadows are $6 on their website if you are interested. Now I'm going in, of course I'm holding it upside down, but I'm going in with the Maybelline Gel Liner in the shade Blackest Black, and I'm taking a eyebrow, um, eyebrow brush from MAC. I like to use these brushes to get my shape for my wing liner down. So I just put the brush all in that shadow and then I will like scrape it along the pot to get the excess off and then I am going to use the tape as a guideline to do my wing. I didn't want to do a really thick wing today because I didn't want it to cover all that pretty eyeshadow we just did. So I'm just going to do a skinny wing and I do the line upwards on the tape and then I take the eyeshadow up across my lash line and I will connect the line for the wing to the lash line and then I will go across the lash line all the way to the inner corner of my eye, kind of just wiggling and moving back and forth with that brush until I have the desired um, intensity of the wing that I want. Sometimes I will just go in with the gel liner. I really love this Maybelline gel liner. It is $7 at Walmart. But today I'm going to go over top of it with the Maybelline Ultra Liner. This is a waterproof liner and it just makes sure that your eyeliner stays in place all day for sure. Like you can't even get it off at the end of the night. It's so intense. And that is $5 or $5.50 probably about at Walmart or Target. And that I'm just making that line a little bit darker. Now I'm going to take the tape off and you will see the precision of the lines we made with the eyeshadow and with the liner. And I just take a makeup wipe and clean off all that fallout. The reason why I did my eyes first is because of the fallout. Now I did prime my face already with the NYX Born to Glow Primer. It is $13.99 at Target. And then I'm going in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer. This was the first time using this, and it is a very beautiful full coverage foundation. As you can see, it's my first time the pump wouldn't even pump out. I used only one pump of this, and I dotted it all over my face, making sure to cover that pimple first because it was driving me nuts. And I just dab it all over my face, and then I go in with my trusty Morphe M439 foundation brush, and I just buff that out. I make sure to take my time and just 
do circular motions all over my face, buffing it out, making sure it's all blended all over the face, under the eyes, all the way down to the neck. This was a great foundation. It lasted all day and it was just beautiful. If you love or if you like full coverage foundation, this is definitely a good one. And it was only $9.99 at Walgreens. Now I'm going in with the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in the shade Light. I really like this. I think it's pretty comparable. It has a wand, so it's pretty comparable to the Urban Decay um, Weightless Concealer that I love. And it was only $5 at Walgreens. And I'm just using a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and blending all of that out, making sure that it's damp first, and then blending it all out all over the face. This... Real Techniques Beauty Sponge is $7.99 at Ulta or Walmart. And then I'm going in with my RCMA No Color Powder. This had to be purchased online. It is in high demand, so it took me a while to find it, but it is only $11 once you can find it. I'm just taking it on the tip of that Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and setting my under eye with it. Now I will take my E53 by Morphe and just wipe that away and then I'll take the excess and put it over my t-zone now I'm going into the elf blush and bronzer duo and that is four dollars at Walmart I'm sure you can find it other places I'm using my what brush is that oh my Ita kabuki brush and I am just kind of contouring with this powder. It didn't blend really well, I will say that, but it was $4, so I mean, what can you really expect from it? But I did um, finally get it to blend eventually. So I went in afterwards, after my Eda brush, with a large powder F20 Sigma brush and just kind of put that all over the forehead and blended the cheeks out a little bit more. And then I'm going in with my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. This is Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. It is $14.99 at Ulta. It smells like you're on a beach. It's just so amazing. I love this bronzer. And I'm using this just to kind of blend that e.l.f. bronzer out a bit more because I wasn't really pleased with how it was blending. And I know that this is a trusty wonderful bronzer. I wanted to try something new, but sometimes your trusty go-tos are what you should start with in the beginning. So I found that this really helped the blending and I kind of just shaded that up a little bit more onto the chin and the forehead. Now I'm using that RCMA no color powder and my Mac 163 brush and I am cleaning up that line there at the bottom. I'll let that sit for a while. And then I'm going to use my NYX bake blush in the color chiffon. This is $6.99, and I believe I got this at Target. And I'm using my Morphe E4 brush to apply the blush. This is a really great blush if you don't want super pigmented um, cheeks, which I don't really care for. So it's just a really light pink blush, and it just kind of complements the pink eye we did. Just take your time to blend that in, and then we will go on to the highlighter. So this is an oldie but a goodie. I've been using the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip since high school, and this is in the shade Miami Strip. They are $9.99 at Target, and I'm taking my Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35 and taking the first three strips and blending them all onto the brush and then highlighting my cheekbones and up to my temple with that. When you first open a shimmer strip, they're not very pigmented you have to kind of like get deeper into them and then you get really good color payoff so I just like to take my finger and kind of just rub all over it to get that color so that it's working really good and then I'll put my brush in so I'm gonna highlight the cheeks and temples as I said and then after the cheeks are to my satisfaction I really like a very intense highlight as I've said in past videos I will then highlight my cupid's bow and the tip of my nose and the arches of my brows and my chin. And then I will go in with a fluffy brush and 
highlight the arches of the brow on top of the eyeshadow. That shimmer strip really gave a nice compliment to the eyeshadow we did. Now I'm going back in with my Morphe E53 and wiping that RCMA No Color Powder away. Now I am going to take a flat de definer brush. Any that you have is fine. I'm using a Sigma flat definer brush and I'm going to go in with peach smoothie and vintage and blend them out on our lower lash line. This is really going to make that smoky eye really pop. It's actually a must for a smoky eye to do this in my opinion. I'm going to put amber rush on a pencil brush and also blend that out and go into highlight the corner of the eyes. Then I'm using the Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeliner in Ebony. This is $5 at Walmart. I've had it forever. And then I'm going to curl my lashes. And I'm going to go in with the NYX Skinny Mascara. I got this at Target for $7. I wasn't really impressed with how it performed on the upper lashes, but the lower lashes it did a really nice job on and we're putting falsies on anyway. So that's really all I could ask for. And I'm going to go in after we apply our mascara with our Dell lashes. I have no idea what kind these are. I've had them for a really long time, but um, I don't know the price either, but they're cheap. Ardell is <laughs> the cheapest you can get in lashes. And then I'm going in with the Milani lipstick in nude cream. That is $5.99 at Walmart. And then Milani Brilliant Shine Gloss in the shade Luminous. This is also $5.99 at Walmart. And this is one lip sh look, I'll say, that I wanted to pair with this. This is the affordable look I'm giving you. And then I'm going to give you a not so affordable look. But I thought this was a really pretty nude glossy lip that complemented the eye. And then for lip look number dos, I am going to go in with the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Doll Parts. I had just gotten this in the mail the day I filmed this video and I really wanted to try it and I love this color. I just, I don't think you can go wrong with this shade and the formula of his liquid lipsticks is to die for. So just, you don't need to use a liner with liquid lipstick, just color in the lines and there I am holding up all of my favorite products that I used in this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you soon. Mwah!